Hello everyone and welcome to Wargamer Ramago. Uh, in the last video I did a uh, board game with uh, playing with a friend's deck I built uh, in, in the video. I purposely built it and then played with it to well teach you guys how to build a deck. Someone suggested to do a German deck, but a German deck with somewhat of a twist. Um, it's not going to be a standard one, it's going to be a category B one. And that's, uh, well, you're going to see that. Let's um, select models. If you select a category B, you get more availability, availability per card, so more units per card, but you are restricted to um, the period of your category, in this case, before 1980. So that means that all the fancy stuff is not there. <laughs> and that's kind of challenging. So yeah, why not? Why not try this? So let's do that. Let's create a German deck, category B. I'm going to make it all. I don't want to restrict myself any more than category B, which is already a big restriction. And let's call it, how do we want to call it? German, no. I mean, I, I want to take a name that doesn't give away exactly what it is. So, Yer, Yerby. Yerby. Yeah, okay. It's a funny name. Yerby. And doesn't totally give away what it is. So let's create that. Okay, we have 38 activation points, so let's start spreading them. And let's start with the logistics, the first thing I always do. So we have two, three different choices for a common vehicle. I'm not going to go for the... Ooh, Leopard 2. Okay, we get Leopard 2, that's cool. Um, uh, I don't go with common vehicles, they are too expensive. And honestly... Uh, I, I don't think they are. Essential made for some very special cases, they are too expensive for what they give. So, no. I'm going to go maybe with the Iltis Kiro, uh, which is, I mean, it's not armored. And I usually go for armored common vehicles, if anything, because they stand artillery much better. But the Kiro for the Germans is so fast. I mean, 110 km per hour cross country. This is amazing. So yeah, I think I'm going to take those. Then, a couple of logistic tracks, I always take two, and I think I'm going to go with the eight or six. Six. A couple of carries, and an FOB. Pretty, pretty much a standard setup for logistics for a general purpose deck, at least in my case. Infantry. So, first things first, we, ca we want something really spammable, and the Yamas have it with the Hemasatsen. So, let's get... 34 of those, <laughs> which is kind of the good thing. They are pretty crappy, they are not great, but they are good for guard reasoning and they are dirt cheap. So yeah, let's go for that. Then we want something that can kill tanks. And we are going to take the Yak Command, of course. We have Milan F1s, which are not exactly the best ATGMs around, but it's the only thing we have. So let's get a card of those in Fushes, which are really fast vehicles, 105 km per hour. Um, do we want Fus Milans? Mm. No, I, I, I don't think we want Fus Milans. I mean, we already have the ATGMs with the Jazz Commandos and the Fus Milans, yes, they, they are too costly. They are 10 points more per card, uh, per unit, sorry. And, um, I mean, I want to use this at the beginning of the game. And really 10 points more can be the difference between taking one or two of them and I want them in pairs so yeah it's going to be the standard push standard infantry we want we want we want well a jagger veteran with a push again I could go with Milan's but I mean this is kind of the low end infantry we want to use other than the Hemasutsen of course uh, we want that we don't want this to be overly expensive and maybe one with choppers. I mean, they are exactly the same coast and for fast deployment. I, I don't do chopper uh, openers with German decks. They simply are not suited for that. But for fast deployment of troops, this can be really, really handy. A couple of those for now. We'll see if we need more do of those later. Then we have Passer Grenadiers, which are the heavy infantry, the really good infantry of the Germans. Uh, we, they have a MG3, which is a CQC which is really good in, in urban and, and woods uh, environments. So, yeah, with this, we are going to go expensive. These are going to be our expensive infantry units with a pretty expensive um, infantry combat vehicle, which has, as you can see, has Milan's, has a 20 millimeter autocannon. This is a really good 
infantry fighting vehicle. Also has three armor in the front, which is really good for an IF IFB. So yeah, two of those. And then I'm guessing we are not going to have a lot of AA. So I mean, pre 980, there is going to be a problem. So maybe we want to go with liver force. Which are crap. <laughs> I mean, these are mampas, which mampas are good, but the missile is bad. I mean, the problem is HC power 3. I mean, packed, you want this to kill enemy helicopters, and packed helicopters for the most part have 10 health. So you need 4 hits with a red eye to kill one of those. But better to have this than nothing, I guess. So yeah, let's get one of those. A push or. Uh, in this case, I'm going to go with M113. I mean, it's five point le points less, and really, this is a crappy unit anyway. So, let's not spend a lot of that of money in that. I could even go with uh, Jupiter's. <laughs> no, that that would be a little bit too much. No, no, no. Okay, support. Uh, all right, cool. We got the Gepard. Oh, and we also get the Roland. This is nice. I didn't think we would get this too. Of course, this is not the latest uh, Roland 2, the German scale, which is a um, um, much modern one, which is also a prototype, but this is really good, a really good AA missile, so let's get a couple of those. A couple of those because I want to bring them at higher veterancy, because it really helps with the accuracy. Um, because at Roland, you want to spend, uh, you want to deploy them in twos. I mean, single Rolands are really vulnerable because they fire two missiles in quick succession, but then they take forever to reload. So, if one of those missiles doesn't destroy the enemy, uh, one missile is usually not enough to bring down a plane. So, yeah, better to have a battery of two of them, which fire fa bursts of four missiles, than just one. And if we want to deploy them in pairs, we need at least eight of them. So, yeah, two cards. Uh, Gepard, in veteran, six units, enough. We want some artillery. But yeah, my artillery is so damn crap. I mean, accuracy three is just shit. So let's take some mortars. What's the difference between these two? Okay, this one, look at that. Almost has no autonomy, and I want them to, yeah, to actually move. Also, they are much quicker. And you really want that the speed to move away after firing. So let's take a better run of this. Uh, and I'm wondering if I want more. Get another Gepard. Or maybe even a Flag Panther, Panther M42A1. Which is kind of spammable. It's not rather guided. And yeah, actually let's try one of those. Yeah. Uh, I'm taking a lot of AA because you are going to see that the planes of the Germans are not really good. Even more so, you don't even get the, the, the F8, F8, F4 with with Amrams. You only get the one with um, Sidewinders. So yeah, we want a strong AA to compensate for the fact that we are not going to have good fighters. Tanks. Tanks is going to be... This is the best tank in the game. <laughs> Honestly. I mean, it's not the best tank in the game, but for its cost, I mean, you get a top class gun. I mean, this is the same gun, the Leopard 2 mounts. Uh, you get an autocannon. <laughs> and pretty nice armor, which is not really a lot, but for a tank this cost, with this, wow, this, this is an awesome tank. So one of those, and I can't take two, because otherwise I would. Um, Leo 1A4. To be kind of the cheapest option, and then a couple of Leo 2s. Yeah, that would fill our, our needs. Recon, the mm, Recon, 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 Recon. Yeah, these are crap. Uh, good optics is not is simply not good enough for our Recon unit. So let's take a chopper. Uh, ground unit for Recon. Maybe an elite unit. This come in twos. Actually, no. Jupiter's no way in Jupiter's. No, 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 no. We want it in APCs. Um, this come in, in twos. I mean, these are special units. These are not really meant to kill anything other than maybe command vehicles. But look at that stealth, exceptional. If you order these guys not to shoot, nothing will see them. 
Unless they are sitting on top of them, quite literally. So yeah, we want one of those elite. Because, 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 eighty gems. One of Jaguar ones, which are not bad. I mean, they are not really great eighty gems, but uh, well, are okay. Um, and nothing else, I guess. Well, know what? I'm actually going to give this a try. I mean, this is the same hull as the Jaguar, but with a nasal gun. I have read and heard very good things about this this vehicle, and I can actually see why, because it's dirt cheap. I mean, it's 15 points. It actually quite on, kind of comes in quite big numbers, so veteran is 11. And it has a pretty decent gun, I mean, for, for a assault gun of, of this price. Also, it has an MG3, which is an incredible machine gun. So it's really good against infantry. It can destroy enemy infantry vehicles. So against a tank is dead meat, but whatever. I mean, it's 15 points, so who the hell cares? I, I, I've never tried this thing, so yeah, why not? Let's let's bring them to battle. Maybe we want another Jaguar. I don't know. Uh, let's, let's move on, and afterwards we'll see. A choppers, yeah, we want... All of them. <laughs> uh, they are not really good choppers, but well, they are good against tanks, and that's what choppers are for. Uh, 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 anyway, so yeah. And then um, planes. Planes. Ah, the fighter is crap. Again, AC power 4 in missiles, and I mean, uh, ME 24 has um, 10 health. Ne you need 3 hits with the Sidewinder to, to destroy uh, one of them. It's crap, but it's the only fighter we get, so let's take it. Starfighters, which are actually decent bombers, I guess, for general purpose bombs. So let's take one card of that, and Alpha Jets are just absurdly crap. I mean, they are slow, they are that they, they, they are the only things we have with cluster bombs, so yeah, let's take also another card of that. And I'm thinking I'm not going to take any more because the next one would cost three, and honestly, for these crap planes, we don't want to spend that much. So we have two points left. Where do we point put them? Actually, uh, another vehicle would be not cost effective because we would take one point and then we wouldn't be able to take anything else because the other stuff is already over two or two or more choppers we can't take anymore because also I, I, I don't know if I want any more of this maybe more recon yeah actually you can never have enough of those so let's take another BGS land unit which is a pretty decent recon unit and we have our activation point field, so yeah, that's our deck. Uh, common vehicle, couple of logistic trucks, FOB, so lots of infantry and in many different shapes and prices. So gives us a lot of flexibility also with a lot of different options for transportation. Pretty strong AA suite, so that's really good. Some kind of artillery support in the form of Morars. Really good tanks. I mean, the Leopard 1A4 is really good for 50 points. The Kaler is amazing for 85, and the Leopard 2 is really good for 95. So, yeah, really good tanks. Decent recon, I guess. This is a good suite. Actually, I'm happy with this. Uh, I don't know how this because The Canon and the Panzer have never tried, so I can't speak about And the Jaguar, I have never had any success with them. But we need a TGM, so why not? Uh, choppers, which are not great, and the Air Force. I mean, th the German problem mostly is they have an inspiring helicopters and crappy planes. <laughs> At least uh, there's little that 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 is really worth the points in in a German deck. I mean, these are cheap, but they are also pretty crappy. So yeah, that's that's our deck. That's a German category B. That's actually pretty powerful. I'm thinking for a. Uh, I mean, Leopard 2s, Roland 2s, this is actually a very good deck, <laughs> I'm thinking at least, so let's give it a try, let's give, let's put it to the test and let's see how it be performs in a battle. Okay, so here we are, I have already selected my unit, it's going to be some recons, some ATGMs, 
Um, as you can see, an F4F uh, for choppers, just in case we see them. And do we want anything else? Uh, yeah, I'm going to take these flag panzers just to help out with the AA. And yeah, let's take the cannon and panzer, maybe. I don't know, choppers maybe, but the choppers are not really good. Um, more infantry. Uh, uh, probably the, 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 the cannon ninja panzer. <laughs> Let's try them out. I mean, they are so funny at 15 points. Why not? Why not try them out? So, okay, we are set. We are set. We are all ready to go. As I said, some recon, some AA units. I have Rolands, I have uh, Manpass, and I have the the AA guns. And well, five seconds to go. It's time to get started. There we go. Okay, let's move them fast there. Um, actually no. <laughs> Hold on. Let's move them there and then get the command vehicle on Foxtrot. Let's spawn the fighter, just in case we spot some enemy choppers. And well, let's start ordering our units where they have to go. So recon unit is going to go there. Uh, where is the other one? Where is the other one? There. This one is going to go here. Ooh, ME24. Okay. Let's send the fighter towards him. Uh, runs are moving up. Cool. Okay, let's see if we if we can get those. There are more choppers there. Okay, let's see if we can get these guys. Yeah, as you saw, yeah, we hit them, but we didn't kill them. And the missiles are so underpowered. Come on, get it. Again, no. So let's order it back and try to get that ME24 and let's give more orders to these guys. Hold on a second. I don't like this guy is going too far away. So let's see evac it. Evac evac. Okay. So we have the eighty gems coming here. Let's order them to that forest. Fushes with infantry into that forest as well. These guys with uh, NTR missiles uh, will go to to the wood there, Rolands. I want to be conservative with them. Let's put them back there. Flag Panzers, I don't really care about. Let's spawn some infantry back here. That ME 24s, I'm sure they were carrying something. So let's put also some Mampads. Let's unload these guys. Move the transports back. Let's unload these guys, move them there, let's unload these... Uh, actually, let's move them up. Let's unload these units, move the transports back, and let's... Okay, divide this, so we can cover as bigger a front as we can to detect anything that's trying to slip in. Okay, we have some contacts already. Infantry is there, let's move the fushes back. Our recon unit is reaching there. We have some ATGMs firing, I guess they are shooting at the fushes, so it's not a big deal. Yard commandos are firing as well. So, well, this ain't enough. Well, we lost one fush, no big deal. Let's move the anti A, anti aircraft guns, the cannon and Japanzer, let's hide them there. Yeah, the commandos are still shooting. No luck with the hits, at least for now. Let's order some logistic trucks. We want those yet commandos to be reloaded as fast as possible. Okay, everything is more or less going according to plan so far. Let's move the runners a little bit up. Yagas are moving up. Cool. Everything is fine on this end. Let's call for some recon. I want to cover these approaches up there. And also, let's put another one down here. 
So nothing slips on that open opening side on the left side. Killers are moving up. Ooh, ATMs. Let's move back. Let's move back. Okay, we got hit but not destroyed, so that's good enough. Let's move them to the woods back there. Come on, don't hit. No, they didn't hit. Good. Some T fifty five is there. Let's keep on moving this infantry. There goes our recon. Okay, T fifty five are trying to flank us. So let's move the killers down there and um, yeah, try to fight them. M eight. We don't have a line of sight. Yeah, commandos are fighting at the T-55s. And they are running out of missiles. Well, our... Logistics... Oh, hold on, hold on. BDBs, BDBs. This is elite infantry. Let's call for a star fighter. And let's bomb the heck out of those guys. Those things are really, really powerful. That's elite infantry. Okay, let's unload the recon, move the transports back. Actually, let's unload this guy as well. Let's move it on foot, down to those bushes down there. Come on, the fighter, where it is? There we go. Vamos away, and... Okay, we also hit ourselves, but... Honestly, Jaggers versus BDB, <laughs> I sacrifice the Jagger any day, any time. So, yeah, let's keep on moving those guys, retire those... Oh, what's that? And where's my fight? Oh, shit, we lost the spawn. Oh, crap. This is bad. Okay, let's allow this guy. Well, seems we have two common because there, I don't know why. But at least that's distracting his attention from my own common vehicle, so that's good. Okay, let's move infantry up there to replace the losses we had. And 113s are getting hit by gun course. I don't care. <laughs> oh, now they saw it. Now they saw the kiddo. Crap, crap, crap. He's panicking, let's move it out. Let's see if we can get away. The Roland is too far away to shoot at that ME8. And what happens there? Oh, SU-34 was coming... No! Well, it went for the ATMs. Well, thanks, thanks. I'd rather have some ATMs destroyed than a common vehicle. So, okay, let's move the killers up. Uh, okay, now I see what happened here. That's that's on the other guy, by the way. Well, I, I mean, shit can happen, but he was the one holding the the, the place. Anyway, Kalers are moving up. Good, good, good. We already destroyed the T-55s. Now we only have to deal with the... Infantry and the IF IFVs, and we are destroying them, so good. What's happening back there, back here? Nothing new. I should move back to... Well, what's the Starfighter doing there? And I lost it. How? Why? I, I couldn't... Well, I didn't even know it was out. Okay, we, re we recovered our spawn. That's good. Oh, the F8F -F is still out. Let's call it back. Uh, some marines, Moskaya Pejota, let's move the killers up. And intercept anything that's coming from that way. Let's move and see if we can get them. Also, ooh, t 62 Okay, that's a good target for... What's... Hold on, let's move that back. Also, ME8 there. I'm going to call another f 8 and F4F, sorry, and try to get it. 
Tonkus is fighting at the Kalers. So let's move them back. Get out, get out. Also, t 62s have 80 gems, so yeah, it's not good. Okay, FDF. Let's get that out of there. The F 4F. I don't know why I'm insisting in calling it FDF, but whatever. Let's put some logistic vehicles there to repair our Kalers. Okay, some fighting going on here. I'm going to call for. I mean, I I, I don't trust wha that whatever happened here is not going to happen again. So let's call for another common vehicle and put it there, just in case. I mean, you never know. If we lose the spawn again, we could be in a serious trouble, and I want to have something reserved in just in case. Let's move our jaggers up, backed up by the fushes. And already, this seems like a not that bad situation. We are also pretty ahead in, in points, so we are doing fine. Some hiccups here and there. Losing that spam point wasn't really the most smart thing to do, but well, we are well ahead, so who cares. Okay, what do we call more? Let's call for some spammable reserve infantry to put there just in case. You never know. They are good for nothing else, so yes, let's spam them. <laughs> um, the cannon and Japan are doing nothing there, but honestly, it's not as if they could do a lot more. Let's allow fuel for that to reload the killers. We are. We already have more supply here to repair them. And let's call these guys back to reload at the FOB. Okay. We should call for more, yeah, more AA units. Just as a backup, just in case something big happens, like another strike on our ATMs. Kailers are getting repaired, actually pretty much repaired by now. So let's go for another couple of those. And, ooh, that's artillery, and those are infantry units on more oh, nice 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 okay hit the artillery hit the no they didn't hit the artillery crap speaking of artillery here comes the spam on the killers okay we got yes we just got them repaired they are damaged again nice that's flamethrower infantry, that's something I really want to get rid of, but... Okay, Estrella, 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 come on, ya yeah, commando, destroy that. What's that? I don't know. Okay, this guy is using smoke to... Yeah, switch my ADMs off. That's a smart, actually. <coughs> Let's go for... Starfighters. Okay. Jaggers are going to... Yeah, they are in the open. I, I don't think they are going to be able to get into into the woods. Uh, Roland 2s are moving up. So to arrive to the destination. Kailers are repairing again. Still shaking, so I don't want to... To make them move into the offensive. Um, T-55s... No, shoot at the T-55s, you idiots. Okay, they, they are totally spamming artillery now. Crap. Let's move them back. No, I can't. Raven. Cool. Destroy something there. Okay, our Jaggers are pretty much done for. That's really bad. Okay, let's go for more. And let's put them back there. 
These guys are just spamming artillery all the time. I hate when that happens. Still, we got the engineers, which is good. No flamethrowers for them. Let's bring our own artillery here. And, ooh, look. We have people trying to sneak, but no, they don't. Let's move them forward. We don't want to keep them there and be food for this artillery spam. And BMP2s. Oh, shit. Let's go for an alpha jet. There's no stopping there. I'm going to reach that woods, those woods, and I can't do crap to stop them. My Jaggers are panicked. Um, those concours really prevent me from moving my tanks. Well, this will go to a BMP2. That pretty much covers for the cost of the Jaggers, so at least we won that. But yeah, they totally cleared the forest. Uh, I don't want the forces to go through there, so let's move them there. Let's call the tanks up. I, I have to stop that BMP2s. I mean, the concours are going to have a field day with us, but more artillery. Oh, that's actually smoke. And more than the smoke, actually, but whatever. The Alpha yet. Dropping. Those are clusters, they are not going to do anything versus the Motostreski. Oh, cool, Nethawk! That actually did something with the Motostreski. Uh, hold on, what's that? Okay, BMPs, the killers are there, and they are done. Well, we pretty much stopped them. Now we really have to move that stuff out of the artillery way. Move the killers back. Move those killers up. And actually, let's start moving our recon infantry up. And uh, use our mortars to destroy those bullshit throwers, which I'm really tired of by these states. Okay, and we are going to move them as soon as we discharge our volley. Okay, move them out. We didn't get anything there. What? Okay, let's unload these guys and move them on foot to the woods. Oh, I totally forgot about these things. I absolutely totally forgot I had those those hemostats in there. Okay, they are unloaded. More artillery spam. Really, this thing is so tiresome. And they are accomplishing nothing because they can't kill crap. I mean, but well, whatever. Uh, T62 moving up. Let's call for the Jaguars. And the killer is panicking. He's going to hit absolutely nothing, but I have to move it forward because we have BTRs as well. Okay, artillery is there. Let's call for the mortars. Okay, they are shooting at our uh, M113s and Fuses, so I don't really care about that. As long as they are shooting at that and not at something more important, I don't care. Okay, BTRs are coming really close to the Jaggers. And there you go, a nasty surprise for them. Easy points. Okay, let's call for the Starfighters. We really want to destroy... ...those things. Oh, come on, killers. Okay, let's try to pull the... No way, they are going to get destroyed. Okay, let's call the Starfighters and try to bomb where I predict the those Marines are going to be at. This is the force I'm moving up. The Kailers up there are going to make a short work of them, at least that I hope. There you go, nasty surprise for them. Ravens destroying enemy AAs, good. We got one of the T62s, very nice. Starfighter destroy, um, throwing the bombs. The other one doesn't throw the bombs, so let's evac him before he gets destroyed by enemy AA. 
Alpha Jet to that 62. Oh, this is hectic. Leopard 2 is there. Okay, we really need to do something about those Marines. So let's call for the. Oh, we lost one killer. Crap. The Fuses are going to give our uh, support. Let's call for some reservists. Jaguars are there. Let's try to get those T62s. Also a Super Cobra there. And I got it. Cool. Okay, let's call the Alpha Jet out. Mortar strikes. Okay. Let's wait for the volley to be complete and move them. Okay, we want more supplies, so let's bring those back and bring those forward. Strellas moving up. We destroyed something there, I don't know exactly what. And they are shooting at the Rolands. Yeah, they are. Okay, let's shoot at those concours because I'm really worried about them. Okay, Jaguar 1. I'm going to actually call for a couple anti aircraft there because I'm spotting an ME2, uh, ME4, ME8, sorry. And uh, I don't trust the flicker fast to destroy. Oh, actually, they did! Go, Mampads, go! Okay, let's put our recon chopper there. Okay, we have some infantry coming our way. That BGS is in serious trouble. But. Yeah, yeah. They are going. They are going to destroy it. I can't. Let's move the flag panzers now. They have a line of sight. The killers don't either. They are actually going to move those back. I mean, that unit is lost. Whatever. Let's go for another one. And there. There you go. Okay, we're going to unit. I'm watching that Estrella. That could be a problem. Ooh, this is for unload those, unload those, and get them into the woods. Let's call for some mortars. There you go, money's gone. From more tanks. And let's move the mortars out of the way. I'm going to actually move this infantry up. This recon infantry up. I want to see farther. We have a solid situation right here, right now. I mean, we are pretty well <coughs> entrenched. We have a solid defensive situation. Good armor presence. Ooh, MTLBT. Those are transports. Okay, let's call those back. Okay, Jaggers took care of that. Let's call the BGS forward again. Let's move the Jaguars up. The T-64 is still there. Let's put yet another mortal barbats on it. Just to keep it suppressed. I'm not going to kill it with mortars, but... Oh, it moves. Crap. Oh! Kayla's got it! That's a big mama. 135 points. That was a big tank. <coughs> Good. Okay, the Jaguar there can do a lot of, a lot of damage. If I somehow am able to put it, it in the forest, hiding... Okay, let's move the Leos up. Let's move the... AJs, more artillery, trying to get the um, Rolands and not doing so. There you go. Okay, 
I'm going to put some smoke here so I can. Uh, Buratino! Oh crap. Destroy that, destroy that. Okay. We just fired, so let's move. Oh, recon unit is burning. No! Don't burn. It's going to die. Ooh, I made 24, uh, 28. That's a lot of points. Ooh. Artillery coming away, let's move the get parts. Ooh, just in time. Freaking artist spammers, I hate those guys. They move nothing, they do nothing, they only point and click with the artillery. It's And the fun thing is they, they, they it, it gets nothing accomplished. I mean they do absolutely nothing. Ooh Motostreski there. Okay, let's call for Starfighters. Ooh, T-80U, that's a big, that's a big thing there. Ooh, and we got it! 170 points! Did I say I never had any success with the Jaguars? <laughs> okay, I'm going to change my mind about them. Okay, those Motostreski are really destroying our infantry. Let's move the killers here. Oh, they actually the recon infantry survived. There you go. We, we also killed our own infantry, but whatever. I don't care. Let's move that one back. Let's move the fushes up. And uh, let's put that recon infantry in those woods. Nothing here. M28 has moved moved really far away. I'm going to put them flicker fast up there just in case the M28 comes up. Ooh, space nuts! Look at them buggers. Okay, star fighters. What's an fire doing there? I don't know. Oh yeah, I call it there. And I actually got a lot of points. Nice strike. Okay, Jagger back. More infantry. We need more Jaggers to cover this flank. I'm going to move the chopper there. Okay, there go the bombs. Let's see if we get those space nuts. One unit. There were two. Okay, we only got one. Yeah, the other one moved. And I can't really attack it at this moment. So, well, not bad. At least we got one of them. BGS is in position. Good. So we have Recon on, on the front. Gonna call for a common vehicle. We are going to take this. It's about time. Been hours for a long while now. Okay, Fuses. Let's move the map. Killers are moving up to try to deal with anything we can see. Probably those T 55s. Okay, we are in position. Good. Let's move there. We can chopper up. And call for a couple of ATGM choppers. Okay, we are getting shot by the T 55s ATGMs. So let's move the killers back. Uh, they are so uh, they are sorry hit. Ooh, they are, ooh, they almost one sorted one of them. That's bad. Let's go for some logistic trucks for repairs. Let's move the cannon and jack panzer up there. BMP twos. Okay, let's unload this. Move the jaggers up. Okay, let's move the choppers up. Those are some tanks moving up. Ooh, T-64s. That can be a lot of points. Come on, Jaguars. 
Oh shit, tem um Ghost Car. Move back, move back, move back, move back, move back. And well, we got T64, cool, and they got our choppers. Still not bad. Okay, Jaguars. Yet another hit on the T64. We have another T80U coming. Let's call for more Jaguars. They are doing a great job for me in this battle. Did I say I never got any result with those things? Oh shoot! I'm getting them in this game. There you go. Now shoot at those. Come on, Leos. The Leos are going to be more or less the punching bags, absorbing damage, and the Jaguar and the Kaler are the ones that are going to deal damage. Or at least that's the plan. Ooh, the TRU. TRU. Go there, go there, Jaguar. Oh, he's running out of ammo. Artillery, shooting at the Jaguars. Okay, le let's pull everything back. Let's pull everything back. No sense in. in What's that? Okay, let's get them with the Starfighters. Make 27k. Okay, we got one of them. Oh, Space Nuts. That's bad news in a forest. Let's get fighters towards that MiG-27. And yeah, that's it. We won. Uh, time's over. Yeah. Well, <laughs> we did really well. Look at that. 2,120 points and 540 losses only. Uh, really good job. Yeah. Wow, look at, look at the Kaler. <laughs> oh, the... Those those tanks really are so damn good. Yeah, wow. Yeah, well, that's the list of kills of my units. And the stars of the show, the killers. No discussion about that. Look at them. So yeah, that's going to be it for this video, guys. Um, designing, building a German category B deck and playing it. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you had fun. I hope you had a good time watching this video and as always, thank you very much for watching and see you later!